Hey everyone, welcome to the past within. We got codes for a game to play early in the what's nots because uh, there's a specific thing where it's like one, I've covered every Cube Escape and Rusty Lake game and this is the next one, but also the specific person or company that distributes these codes is the same people that distributes We Were Here and Escape Simulator and Escape Academy. So like <laughs> we found our niche, I guess. Yeah. So this is gonna be, is this your first game by them, Bird? Yes. Okay, so the Cube Escape series is a really old flash point and click adventure thing. Oh, where, where the kind of gimmick it is that's yeah. all Bino Black Sheep era. Yeah, they're, the first ones are old. You you click a uh, you click these arrows on the left side, left and right side of the screen to rotate around in a square shaped yeah. room in each game and do like yeah. point, like an inventory based adventure puzzles. Uh, wow, that's really cool. Unless you've got a strong opin opinion, I guess I'll probably do what I think is the Cube Escape version, since I've played them all before, and you can play the other perspective, which is something new. Because so the, 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 the gimmick of this is game is presumably I the think stuff the past you... is yeah. the box, yeah, or is, yeah. is the uh, is the inside of a room. So the gimmick yeah. here is that uh, it's an asymmetrical puzzle game of the likes we've played a few times before. Uh, in this case, the two games are pretty different from each other, instead of being just different rooms or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, one of us is playing a Flash animated style game, and the other one's playing like something that looks more like uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. <laughs> is, is what I what could get, what I could gather. Uh, so we're going to have to communicate and talk back and forth and try to solve our way through this, basically. Uh, you want to read the screen you're on since I clicked past it? Uh, you're here together. You have both have a choice to make. You want me to click the future? Uh, so you're, yeah, you're past the other. the other one. Was, I think the other one said, like, welcome to the world of Rusty Lake. Your memories are stored in cubes or something, I think. I recorded it, so... Um, <laughs> All right, well, post. whatever. We're starting the game. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try the past. <laughs> you can try the future. All right. And we'll you see what happens. You chose the future. Did the other person choose the past? Yes. Yes. Do you trust the person in the past? <laughs> I don't want to click no, but I really want to <laughs> click no. But I'm going to click yes. Mine just, mine just says, can you hear the person in the future? But what, what a fucking prompt <laughs> you got. Ooh, I like that. That's spicy already. I'm going to go with yes. Uh, <laughs> choose between the butterfly or the bee. Make sure the person in the future chooses the same. Which one? Okay. The bee? Because they got to save them. They're dying. Yeah, but bees are stingy. Yeah, like us. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The bee. Yeah. If I get stung, though, I'm going to be fucking mad at you. Did the other person choose the bee? Am I not? Oh, I probably shouldn't swear. In, because they might use this footage in the trailer. They can censor because it. Because there's or, nothing or more exciting than us part. navigating this menu. Yeah, it's perfect. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Let me go with yes. I am sure you are ready to start, but is the person in the future also ready? <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, I think I was very used to communicating. Let's make some memories. More like memories. Uh, the past, chapter one. The future, chapter one. Click to continue. Okay, what do I got here? Wow! This this is so nostalgic. You got yourself <laughs> a, a device or something? Yeah, but also it's got very thick flash-looking outlines on all the graphics. <laughs> To make That's it co nice. co cohesive, I, I bet. Yep. I've got a letter uh, addressed to Rusty Lake, January 1926. My dear daughter Rose, if you find this letter, I'm no longer part of this world. Although there is hope. Over the last couple of months, I have been working on a device to establish contact with a trustworthy person in the future. Be aware, the room you are in now may be affected by this person. Please open this box first and await further instructions. Your loving father, Albert. Okay, so what I got was I have a table with a computer in it, and I turned the computer on, and it says, Welcome to the cubicle device 081F. This cubicle device holds a memory that contains the room of the person in the past. So you're doing simulation hypothesis world right now. Uh, you don't exist. You're cool. a reboot. Or do I? Maybe you're in a simulation that it's in the flap of a butterfly wing. Uh, oh. I, need to, I, need to, I need a combination that is a 3x3 three three grid. 
about to establish connection with a person in the past. Warning thing, expect room change, yada, yada, yada. To verify access, please submit the year of memory. 1926. Year of memory? 19 what? 26? Yes. Alrighty. Now I'm supposed to open a box, but I have a three by three grid. Oh, that's clever. Oh, this is super clever. Okay, so it's a four digit number. Um, and you can it's not it starts at 1900, but your cursor starts in the one and the nine. So brute forcing this is like immediately discouraged because it, if you just go from what you start with, it it like increases the wrong number. That's cool. What? <laughs> It's game design, all right? <laughs> game design! You know. Oh. <laughs> I only know how to say things are gay. <laughs> well, Did you know The Shining you is you gay? A, <laughs> if you want to become a Minecraft YouTuber oh. uh, 13 years ago, oh. then you'll be able to pull that off. Anyway. I meant, I meant like analysis. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you meant idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's our, that's the Let's Player's legacy. Anyway, access granted. Please communicate the following information to the person in the past. Okay, I got a three by three grid. Yep. And it's flashing uh, the five pattern on a dice. You know, like it boop, 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 I boop, got matches, boop, a boop, classic. Boop. Every game's got matches in this game. Now I can look around uh, the room. But the world's my oyster, except everything's locked. Like an oyster. I've got at least one clock I have to eventually set to a correct time. I've got a All bowl. Alright, well, uh... Me catching up to you caused the computer to freak the hell out. And it dropped what appears to be a Bible from the ceiling. Oh, that's good. The way you phrased yeah. that made me think that it broke and I was scared. Oh no, it's ma it's matchsticks. Oh, you also have... Ah! Matches are important in these and games. Could, I opened it up and it contained a Switch. Not like a Nintendo console. <laughs> but like a knobby that I can put on something. I bet these doors matter. Yeah, these doors these have a bunch activate. of symbols on them. Uh -huh. Like mountains and butterfly and night. Please activate input panel P17 and submit correct painting sequence. What the hell is panel P17? Oh, I... what? Oh. Right. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's more to this room than I thought Ooh. I would see. Oh, I, I'm in a chamber. The, one of the paintings is a, was alive. <laughs> Re reacted to me. I wasn't ready for that. That sounds like some Doctor Who stuff. The bird cawed when I clicked on it, and it was in a painting. So I'm like, that's illegal. You can't do that. Yeah. Do you drag in this game, or do you do click and click? I have not played a game by this company for about two years, because they've been not putting them out. <laughs> Alright, I have a I have a chess board, checker, checkered board, that is uh -huh. 1 through 6, A through F. I've got four paintings. I've got a what door covered. What are the four paintings of? Doop -doop. The four paintings are of a house. A bee, okay. a crow and or raven, and Rose and Albert. A little girl and a burn victim. Uh, His pocket okay. looks Got like him. a letter. Yep. That. Uh, oh, I need four more paintings after that one. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> oh! Found By Albert. The way, uh, uh, he's in the coffin, probably. Yep, Albert Vanderboom. Uh -oh. He's dead. You probably shouldn't refer to crows and ravens as the same animal, by the way. That'll make some people on the internet very angry. At well, you. I can't tell them apart. Um, and also, people are angry every true. time I speak, and they will never <laughs> not be. So, fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a toothless threat. <laughs> <laughs> people on the internet are mad at you. Like crows. <laughs> I'm actually Shots horrified whenever I find out that birds do seem to have teeth. I don't like that. Whoa, there's a there's a little lab rat. Oh, it's gone. I thought I had a friend. But then I realized it's just us. I need to find firewood for this thing. 
Oh, oh, Let's that see. unlocked more instructions for me. OK. Oh, communicate symbol sequence. Warning the room inside this device may suffer from overheating. Use three sliders to adjust smoke gas discharge. <laughs> What? Uh, I can make this computer fart, I think is what it's saying. Okay, well, what are the symbols? Uh, the symbols are... Uh, an upside-down cross. Yep. A, um... A, a bull... What is it? A crosshairs in a circle. A... Got it. Um... All the things I want to describe this as are not not nice. So I'm going to say it's a um, witness puzzle. It's it's a witness puzzle. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then the next one is a is a square, but it's got two little squares inside of it. Ah, OK. Yep. Got to look all my coal because it's not going to be wood after all. Now I can heat up my soup and my soup. Oh, I got sliders. You got sliders. Ah, uh, okay. So your the slider settings you want are one five two. Oh, okay. Now I've got hot Done. soup. Ooh, that gave me a, a battery. Oh, my room's full and... of of deadly smoke. That's good. Oh. But I've uh... got a hot soup Namiku, so that's nice. Huh. Uh, activate ventilation system. Okay. I'm oh, assuming... there's a crow behind me. Hi. I'm assuming it can activate the <laughs> ventilation system by putting this battery over the vent. But if I do that, like, wait, are you going to die? Um, I don't know. Am okay. I? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to put the battery in um, and I'll extort you later. What do I do with All this right. soup, I wonder? The time is 1.15. <laughs> but, I'm fine. <laughs> but it's military time. Bless you. So it's actually 13.15. You can get Colonel on to translate that into correct time. I know how to the thing. There we oh. go. Now there's wind inside this room. Oh. Thing gonna fall over? Everything's windy in here. Uh ventilation system activated. Communicate time, unlock lens, use oh. three lens switches to peek inside the room of the person in the past. Dear Rose, wear the mask yourself. I have a key. There's the mask. Alright, I'll wear it myself. Probably via the mirror. I'm wearing a spooky mask. So that's nice. That's Halloween. Yeah, just in time for yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, okay. I think this is a status quo change for me. They tend to implement status quo changes in these games where something affects the whole room. I'm cool. now wearing a mask in the whole room. It went from the whole room was smoky and then the whole room was windy and now the whole room's uh, uh, ethereal. Like when a dead person visits, visits you in a movie and you're like, oh, mom, I miss you. Oh, Go, and they're, and they're like, like and they're, they're like, press the three thumbs. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> Mom, just say what the thing is. Press the three thumbs. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you never call. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of things to do at the moment. Oh! Uh, I think you need to communicate the time unless you already used that. Okay. Yeah, I, I put the time in, which is how okay, I made it. the mask. Okay, it's unlock lens. So what's... I have six pictures, and I can click on them to toggle them into color motor. Oh! Uh-oh, did I just accidentally brute force it? Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was just playing with them a little bit. Well, I don't even know what combination that was. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, cool. They made it entertaining to click on. Okay. All Damn right, it. do you have three symbols that are useful? One's a witness puzzle, one's an arrow, and one's a cross? Yes. Okay, what do I, what, what's the thing to do with them? Um... The witness puzzle is seven o'clock. Okay. The arrow is ten o'clock. And the cross is one o'clock. 
That one blinking at me? Oh, was the one that I'm last I last clicked on blinking at me? Uh okay. Six so witness is seven o'clock. Uh and then arrow uh, is ten o'clock? I hit like a redo button and it moved them all. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, because it moved the arrow to nine, the cross to three, and, and witness to six. Okay, that works. Did it do something? Yeah, now I got an array of stained glass uh, windows. Hmm. That I assume I can describe to you. Oh, that's lovely. You all right? You all right, buddy? Yeah, and one of the artworks is a masked figure uh, with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. There's a good time to mention that this is a horror series. <laughs> ah, okay. I'll click the masked figure and the knife. No. No? No. You click a mountain, a mountain. tree what with no leaves, and tree. then a cube. And then a cube. There we go. That is what I accidentally brute forced earlier. So now okay. we're back to that. So when I hit when I hit the redo button and put it back to normal, but when I entered that code and it gave oh. me a different cipher. So now I have a new code to give you. So we're at, we're back. <laughs> We're, okay. we've, we've un we've unskipped the brute force uh, so <laughs> now cross is one what oh on the lens thing yeah do the oh, things again oh I do the lens three times I see yes yeah, so now, now cross, is, cross one. is one arrow is seven no eight ten arrow is ten witness is seven okay uh, this is butterfly and knife. Uh, arrow is 11. Okay. Witness is 8. Okay. Cross is 4. All right. This is butterfly, mountain, cube, and knife. Now, witness is 12. Uh, okay. Arrow is three. Okay. Cross is nine. Oh, hi. You're now a person. Wait, <laughs> is this uh, is this you? Are you standing in front of a coffin am, right now? I am red. I'm a redheaded woman with a bun. Oh. Do you happen to be aware of the fact that you've got, like, a death mask on your face? I am also wearing a death mask, yes. Okay, well then, glad my, to know that there's nothing unusual in that yeah, situation. Yeah, my, my dead uncle oh, or whoever God. gave it to me. Uh, Dad? Oh, you door open. closer to me now. <laughs> do you like the... Do you, do you like it? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You like... <laughs> I caught me by, uh, by surprise a little bit. I made it just for you. That's cool. Oh, bone flesh blood! Ear, blood, teeth. Okay. Cubicle device. And then up and down. So, so I have six switches and it tells me what order to put them up and down. Okay. And I have got this various order face style mask. body parts. I also have an, I'm in an annoying, like, papers please situation on where desk space is a premium. Uh, nice. I can see right, the switches. There are various doors where I know where to put blood and whatnot. All right, the switches are up, down, up, down, down, down. All right, cool. I got a yellow floppy disk. Or as the Zoomers will say, I have a yellow save icon. Yeah. Save me. Uh, okay. I can, I can tell you that you get uh, on <laughs> bone flesh blood, you get teeth out of mouth. Blood out I'm of nose and ear out of ear. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, Albert friend. Vanderboom. That's my dad. Or oh. something. I should and check the, so I can stop being wrong. The letters L, V, A, E, yes, R, and O are all uh, linking in that name. Uh, I'm going to put this candle down real quick. Find out if I can. Ooh, a key. Uh, what letters? I, I already told you. Cool. All right. I guess we'll just stop. L V A E R O. 
L V uh, A. Which A? Uh, uh, pointy capital A. The one in a in Vanderboom. Oh yeah, yeah, in Vanderboom. I have L V A. E R O. First e R. O. First O. Oh, cool. The coffin's probably opening. This will be good. Oh, it's Daddy. He's still dead. Just checking. Okay. What is closest to the heart of Albert Vanderboom? Uh, it's a picture of a woman named Edav. I D A V. I. D. A. B. The person in the past places the altar key and obtains three substances, bone, flesh, and blood. Select instructions. Which one do you want to start with, bone, flesh, or blood? Uh, well, I just found a diary, so I'm trying to figure out where it will let me open that. Is Oh, the altar key. Uh, what did they say? What was... I found out what the altar key is. What did they say it was? Go do... Uh, well, uh, there, there are three branches here. We can do bone, flesh, or blood, and I have further instructions for each. So what makes you feel happiest? So happy to- ah! Uh, eyeball. Oh, it's you. Oh, cool. Am I, like, peering into your world like an yeah, omniscient Yeah, you're a creepy overboard? person. Oh, cool. In in intensely creepy. Do not appreciate your input. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me, all right. <laughs> oh, there's, there's the altar key spot. All right, I'm gonna pick I'm about to have an altar. I'm first. about to have an altar key All right. I'm now opening up a thing that has a bone and a blood and a ear, uh, pencil? All right, I need to go to the hatch, communicate the tooth sequence with the person in the past, and then obtain, and then now allow us to obtain bone. Oh, mouth opener. Okay, I just got a mouth opener, which I think is that thing that you keep seeing people on YouTube use comically. I'm, gonna, I'm about to put it on a dead person, which, which is okay. it just as funny. Okay. Oop. What the fuck? What's happening? Uh, one of the teeth I click on makes the other t another tooth wobble. Uh, it makes a little is it the noise. fifth tooth on the top row? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah, that one's uh, blinking on my end. Does it say to do anything else? Um, it just says communicate the tooth sequence. What is the tooth sequence? Uh, I'm not sure. All I see is a blinking light. Uh, in the on the for the fifth tooth in the top row. So the sequence is one tooth? Apparently. Huh. I don't think that's going to do it for us. Oh, hmm. what? Oh, I have to... I have to figure it out from here, apparently. Oh, like you still have to solve it on your end? Okay, you said... Uh, one of the teeth wiggles... when you click on it or something? Yes. Okay, which tooth wiggle? Uh, let me get back there real quick. Uh, the second one on the bottom. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's the, uh, so that communicates to me what the next step in my sequence is, which I can, which then gives me the next step in your sequence. So the next thing you need to click on is the third tooth in the top row. Now it's wiggling the one, two, three, four, five, six tooth on the bottom row. Okay. Next up is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth tooth in the top row. Now it's wiggling the final tooth on the top row. Okay, now it's wiggling the fourth tooth in the bottom row. Now it's wiggling the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth row on eighth tooth on the bottom row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
a pretty long sequence. Okay, now it's the sixth tooth on the top row. I got it. That tooth's mine now. He doesn't get to have it back. It's my inheritance. Nice. Do I click it on my end then? Let's see, that goes in the bottom. Oh, fuck. Okay, I hope I don't need that. Because <laughs> he just reset? Yeah, it just ended up resetting. I got the tooth, so hopefully we're good. Uh, yeah. Let's see, I'm going to look at this diary that I just got. Albert Vanderboom Diary. As a child, I was attacked by bees. My sibling laughed at me. Ida. It is pretty she, hilarious. She left me with a broken heart. The birth of my daughter Rose was the greatest achievement of my life. I've been working on the cubicle device to establish a connection with the future. I know that when I lose a game of chess, my first life will end. My dark soul uh, will live on into the future, waiting for resurrection. Okay, so every single one of the sentences I just I just said, uh, the left page. Uh, each sentence was on the right page, and the left page was a grid of four squares. Ah, uh, okay. So it might be some kind of combination. I thought it was more, so I wasn't listening to anything you said. Sorry. Cool. Well, I was, just, I was doing the run-through anyway. Yeah. So, as a child, I was attacked by bees. My siblings laughed at me. And then I have four squares. So I probably have a combination that I give you, and it probably has to do with these paintings. So, top right? Oh. I clicked on the bee and the bee flew away out of the picture. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I see I see a lot of these uh, things that you're mentioning here. Uh, so I see a picture of a person who's getting attacked with bees while some children laugh at him, which yeah. is just hilarious. And that is a bottom right square in a grid of four. Uh, I wonder if we're writing these down. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do you want to write down the sequence since you have your whiteboard desk? Yeah, I'll get that going. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to look at the instructions again. Communicate information on photo slides. Uh, the person in the past should light all candles and place diary. Okay, that's what you did. Communicate information on photo slides. All right. I'll start taking notes. So B equals bottom right. Okay, what's the next line in the diary that you found? Ida, she left me with a broken heart. Uh. Oh, okay. I have a pencil, only, so I there we go. It's only one picture. So I can of actually just Ida. put the bot I put the bottom right in because I, I guess okay. I can fill it in with my pencil. All right. All right. Uh, so Ida. Ida's top right, I think. We'll find out. The birth of my daughter Rose was the greatest achievement of my life. Well, he certainly doesn't look happy about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bottom left. It was a difficult birth. I've been working on the cubicle device to establish a connection with the future. Bottom right. I know that when I lose a game of chess, my first life will end. Uh, top left. My dark soul will live on into the future, waiting for resurrection. Top right. Oop. The, the ear has closed. And it is a spooky th Oh, we got a scalpel! Oh, I'm gonna, go, right, ju I'm gonna, I'm gonna go jam it in his brain. I was gonna say, I think you gotta use that on, uh, on some friend. Uh Oh I used to cut his ear off. Cool. You van go to the next puzzle. <laughs> do not van go, do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> go to the hatch, communicate print information with the person in the past and find the secret compartment. Now I need the blood okay. combination. Gonna get blood from his nose somehow. Okay, so I have a six digit code. Uh I have six digits to enter. Two. Okay. Y. Okay. Three. Okay. Z. Okay. One. Okay. 
X. There is a message in the eye of the crow. Oh. It's oh. a message in the eye of okay. the crow. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why? Three. Three. X. X. One. One. Z. Z. Two. two. There is a message in your own reflection. Normal. Oh, blood. My favorite. Three. Okay. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Z. Okay. Y. Okay. X. Alrighty. I have a diagram of a room. Um, and there's an arrow. So if you go, if you face the coffin and you go to the left, there will be a indescribable to me. It's thing. the rose. And then you interact with that. To the left of the coffin is an indescribable thing. Like not not directly to the left, but like on the wall on on your left wall. I got a spoon. Z. Uh, sorry. X. Okay. Z. Okay. Y. Okay. Three, one, two. Uh, eat your hot soup and you will find a gift. Love. Nope. Hot soup Namiku. I'm about to give this guy a COVID test. <laughs> Stick that in his brain. <laughs> nose. You're supposed to swirl it five times for a total of ten <laughs> seconds, and then you pull it out. All right. So if you're using hot soup to name Miku, then you're shoving a leak up his nose? No, I drank my soup and it gave me crystal, and the crystal opened the cabinet, and then the thing that came out of the cabinet was a cotton swab and a bottle. Oh, yeah, well. I'm uh, under-narrating because a lot, is ha a lot actually happens there. on my end. I, I I just gave you a little bit of fan service, so enjoy. I don't know anything about Hatsune Miku besides blue hair. I know. It shows. Wow. I'm cultured swine. <laughs> wow, I'm being fleeced. Help. Uh-huh.